This video brought to you in part by these fantastic sponsors. Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the channel, I'm the Shotgun Shogun, and it's Wednesday, my dudes, which means Epic 7 patch notes, and data mined up that the Tamarind banner was coming, and this time, everyone is not going to tell you that she's a literal hot garbage. When Tamarind first came out, uh, because of her, the way her S3 worked, everyone was like, oh, Tamarind is absolute garbage, don't even bother to roll for that, but if you go back and you look at some of my roll videos, you'll see that, you know what, I didn't listen to them in the first place, because I knew that on long fights, Tamarind was going to be amazing, and the buffs that they gave her basically she can just fit anywhere so realistically this is some grade a prime prime bait right here because they did announce in uh something a little bit ago that they were going to be doing a limited banner again soon so with uv uh tam we may get one more banner but i'm gonna i'm gonna go on a limb here and say that a, that a limited banner is coming soon because they always put the tastiest of bait before before a limited banner. But let's uh let's get into what else is going to be going on in this. So obviously Tamarin drop rate up, but the Chuseok. Chuseok. Ah, uh, that's pro I probably butchered that. If if I did, I apologize. Uh I am just a dirty American who does not understand the nuances of other languages. Ah, but this is a special event. This is Korean Thanksgiving, which I actually didn't know was a thing until now. So thank you, Mobile Gaming, for teaching me more about the world. Ah, uh, we prepared special events that all of our heirs can enjoy. Enjoy the Full Moon Festival special buff event and the daily special gift event. Now, they have been giving us gifts after gifts after gifts. Anniversary, follow-up anniversary, the move into the full moon festival. We've pretty much had nothing but, like, just buffs and gifts like crazy. So, realistically, just, like, anybody who's who's really complaining about things is just, it's like, man, come on, guys. Uh, what are we doing? You're taking me to a whole nother page? I don't want to go to a whole nother page. Take me back, take me back to the Paradise City. But anyways, we're going to be getting the Chaotic Moon Festival Part 2, which I'm really hoping that I don't have to farm a stupid kicker at node again, ever again, because the amount of robots that you had to kill for that reputation piece was brutal i have so many kicker rats that i am just i don't even know what to do with them but if you were one of those masters who did not have the triple s a million characters achievement done for your bookmarks kicker at node was a absolute banger of a node because you could just triple s those kicker rats to go towards the achievement and get a ton of free bookmarks if you didn't know that's uh that's a thing so you might want to go do that for easy freezy peasy bookmarks so we're going to be getting the next part of the moon festival uh unicaren zerto tenebria are going to be the 50 percent increases you got some others down there that are going to be hitting you with the 30 percent attack and health but yeah it's these usually aren't super super hard in the first place but you probably already looked at the shop for it but we are going to be getting the next part of this it's going to be moon coins sure wish there was some sort of artifact or something or increase on on those uh it's gonna be your typical you're gonna be your typical stuff we are gonna be getting the money bags goblins which i am always always a big fan of money money bag goblins mola challenges always always my favorite uh always my favorite things so yeah um we are gonna have a side story the limited daily stage was absolutely huge in this side story i actually really really enjoyed it because for the low low price of eight energy you could get this much as you would get on a hell node and if there was a chest in there that dropped the currency you got even more so that did definitely make it really nice and easy for people who didn't necessarily have the energy to spend on uh, the hell mode or couldn't finish the hell mode so that definitely helps out quite a bit uh you're gonna be getting some sky stones gonna be getting some uh yeah we're gonna be getting more sky stones but we're gonna be getting uh the story the side story shop which we've already went over now the other thing powder of knowledge shop is 
switching it up and you're going to be getting border coin holy sacrifice wind rider and shimadra staff now uh after the wind rider nerf everybody's going to tell you that it's literal trash i mean it's not amazing but it's not bad either uh border coin is meh um holy sacrifice is pretty okay and uh shimadra staff is also pretty good now on the four stars you do have tag heals uh which is really good if you don't have a maxed out tags definitely do it because it's kind of required in pvp i would almost actually suggest getting two of them and maxing two of them out because the amount of things that two of them will allow you to do is is really really huge so moving on uh what do we got the tamarind drop rate up i don't need to go over that but let's go over the full moon festival buff event now as typical, it's going to be this pretty much the same stuff. You got your hunt materials, your rune drops, your hunt materials, and your rune drops. And every day, you get the 30% gold and XP. So this is going to be going from the patch through Sunday. So you only got four days, but that's okay-ish. I mean, it's going to suck because, you know, if you've got other games that you're playing, you kind of need to prioritize these. But at the same time, you know, it is... It, we get these fairly regularly and i'm pretty sure that we might just get them for the you know on, on the regular basis so if you don't have the time let's say you're busy this weekend uh with an anime convention in poconos pa that's called colossal east and i will be there if you guys want to come hang out uh you can you can just wait till the next one i mean we've had these like what the last three three weeks in a row so you know if you haven't gotten all of your rune drops in I, 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 yeah just just get it just get it get it going so uh what's the last one we're going to be getting the daily special gift event um and we are going to be getting uh let's see what thursday through sunday during the event period heirs will receive additional energy when they log into the game three leafs 10 bookmarks that is what 12 leafs and 40 bookmarks if we're doing four days 12 i can i can count i can count thursday through sunday four days so yeah, I mean that's a that's pretty big right there. Uh, so if you don't want to use that XP, you just get it in the form of leaves, which is actually really good because I have a, a whole a whole mailbox full of energy, and I just have to sort through it and get the ones that are going to expire. I just kind of sit on them and I hoard my unlimited ones from the from the monthly thing. Uh, but anyways, that's just that's just some stuff that I do. But you don't have Tamarin right now is probably a super super good time to pick up Tamarin because Tamarin fits into any team. I've I've literally taken her to Banshee. I take her to raids. I take her to to, to PvP. To, you name it. Tamarin makes it a lot easier. So there you go, guys. Have it. We don't have a whole lot. I think the next one uh, might be a little bit bigger. I know that we're pretty much waiting for. The October one, I think the October one is the uh, uh, after the Moon Festival is when we'll be getting like the next part of the Hell Raids and all of that jazz. But we'll see, we'll see. They've been doing a really good job. I'm looking forward to the end of this uh, Moon Festival thing because I think that's when we're going to get a limited character. Now, I don't know who it's going to be. I'm going to assume that we might be getting or this dude over here on the left-hand side. Uh... We might be getting that guy, and he looks pretty chill. Uh, by chill, I mean pretty badass. So, uh, fingers crossed that we get that dude. He's limited, and he's really, really cool and good and does some fun stuff. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.